Hey everybody and my family, how are you guys? Hope everybody's well. Today I'm gonna show you guys, share you guys with the secrets of how to generate an amazing full-time income on Airbnb without owning any properties. So stay tuned guys. A little bit about my background. I was a pharmacist, I was trapped, it was like corporate slavery. Um, you know, earned my doctorate, MBA and everything but I was trapped. So I was like, man, I, there's gotta be a way. I finally cracked the code of Airbnb and I will share that with you. Within 12 months, I replaced my six figure income and able to just really take care of my family, live in my dream home. More importantly, I have time to spend with my mom, dad, and all my loved ones, you know, right here taking care of them. Um, so I wanna share with that with you today. It's such life-changing secret that once I know, that blow my mind. Comment down below. Tell me what, what you guys think, what that secret is, you know, and where you guys are in the world right now. Do I want to know where you are located too? So connect with me. Um, the secret is subletting, basically. For those of you who don't know, basically rent a home and then you re-rent it on Airbnbs. So, and then you make that spread. Let's say I usually, um, out here, let's say, uh, you rent a home for about 1800 I can usually rent on Airbnbs for about 3600 a month, double that, okay? So do the math, right? And then, of course, you can do the, you have, you have uh, utilities, you have to pay internet and everything. So it's about $500 on top of the 1800 so 2300 I rent it out for 3600 I make about 1000 uh, around $1,000 to 1300 bucks a month on one property, one property, guys, okay? So, um, you know, so on average, and it's about 700 to about 1500 a month cash flow after everything, okay? After you pay off your um, rent uh, that, that you rent from somebody, you release it on Airbnb and also corporate housing. Corporate housing is big too. Um, basically where companies flying in with their, with their people and then they rent a whole house um, you know, to, to host a whole group of employees for a few months. And those people pay great, pay well. And also insurance. Insurance uh, usually pay very well when, when somebody home got damaged and they need like an Airbnb for like a few months. Those are awesome as well. And I do all of that. So I've been doing that for a few years now. I got my freedom, I love it. And I wanna share that with you guys. Isn't that awesome, guys? I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I, I basically traveled the world um, before COVID and had the chance to do that. It was fun. And now I'm about to do it again, uh, hopefully soon. Um, but uh, more importantly, I have time to work from home, do whatever I want to do. And, you know, because I make money when when you do that, you basically make money where you're sleeping. Because, you know, people staying Airbnbs, you make money for the nights that they stay, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's really awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys got something out of that. I also help people from out of state to invest in Texas, especially Dallas, because uh, it's, it's booming. It's booming right now. Uh, it's been booming for the past 10 years. Uh, you know, Texas real estate is so undervalued. It's about three, four times cheaper than California, New York, Illinois. So even if it just go halfway, half as expensive as California, that's still double the money, double the money. Listen to me, okay? And if you only buy, if you're gonna buy to invest, you only need about 25% down. So 25% down, and if the property is double, that means you make about four times your money, about, you know, within within five, 10 years. So real estate gonna double here, guys. What's up, Asan? Um, so real estate gonna double here within five to 10 years just like anywhere else, because it's so undervalued. It's about four times cheaper than California, and, and, and it's burning out there in California. You know, I feel for you guys. Whoever in California, come down, comment down below, you know? I really feel for you guys, but I, I do think it's time to move out here. There's a lot of Californians, you know, moving out here, and I was just helping, uh, you know, a couple who bought a house. I'm also a realtor too, you know, and, and they love it here because, you know, I mean, shoot, a, a nice home out here, uh, super nice home, four four bedroom, two bath. You know, is going on here for like two something or three something, right? Whereas in California, it's like a million dollars, right? So, um, you know, so if you're from out of state, invest in here, buy some rental home. You only need about twenty five percent down, and then uh, real estate with the way I appreciate right now. You know, I just helped like a couple last year bought like a duplex, and uh, they were able to 
uh, they only put a hundred thousand dollar down and within a year right it increased the value of the property from like like 350 to 400 now so about fifty thousand dollars so they put a hundred thousand dollar cash in and now the equity is fifty thousand dollars extra so that what does that mean that mean they make fifty percent of their money where can you make fifty percent of your money right and within five to five to ten years the real estate here is gonna double because it's so undervalued and when it double that mean if you want to put 25 percent down that means you freaking make like man that's like 400 percent of your money you know and i help them to rent uh manage it on airbnbs for them and they're making a killing on it you know i mean so i basically handle everything for them uh and you know they're making about a thousand to sometimes two thousand a month from it um because you know it's just it, it it's just the way it is oh another thing with, with covid actually a lot of people don't want to stay in hotels because of the high risk of, of covid so a lot of people booking airbnbs um so that's why airbnb actually go up you know because of covid uh, because who want to stay in hotels when you have, you know, a thousand people in a hotel and, and expose your whole family uh, to COVID where you can just rent a home like this, have your privacy and nobody, you know, come close to you, you know, and, and be a lot safer. So that's another secret too um, that, that actually caused the uh, Airbnbs to boom. So I hope you guys got something out of this. If you guys want to learn more, uh, look me up drchowong.com drchowong.com and uh, you know anything I can do for you guys maybe hit me up on messenger I'm working on uh, finishing up my online course to help people to show you guys step by step on exactly how to do this as well so wherever you are in the world um, subletting Airbnbs is happening everywhere okay and it's the quickest way especially when you don't have a lot of capital when you are starting out uh, I was working full-time you know uh, and, and I could still do it as well you know just part-time so especially if if you're looking for a way out of the corporate rat race of the mundane you know nine to five and having people telling you what to do all the time i couldn't even take a bathroom break when i won i only had like 10 minutes to eat i like heck with that you know even though i was a doctor you know who cares i want my freedom right and i hope you want your freedom too because i'm all about freedom baby i'm all about freedom the freedom of your mind your body your soul your spirit finances everything it's all about freedom uh, you know, and, and, and that's why everybody is looking for something more because we are not experiencing true freedom until we have financial freedom. So, uh, you know, comment down below, guys. What does what, what freedom mean to you? You know, what are you willing to do to gain your freedom, to be with your family? What, what is it worth to you to be able to take care of your parents, take care of your uh, kids, your wife, the way that you uh, know that they deserve to, uh, to live? And also, what is, you know, imagine if you um, travel around the world and your Airbnb still make money for you, which is exactly what I did uh, back in, in the beginning of this year. You know, before COVID, I was so thankful able to take a world trip around, you know, Australia, Bali, Europe, Vietnam. Uh, had a great, amazing time for like a whole like month. Uh, and uh, my Airbnb is still able to make money. I'm still able to manage it anywhere with, with internet so i mean shoot you know and i was you know making as much even not even more than a pharmacist when my old job so really let that sink in guys i hope uh, this helps some people i do uh, tr I, I am truly you know want you guys to experience the freedom as well especially during this uh this rough time as well but don't let this time be discouraging you guys okay because the the time of maximum pessimism is a time of maximum um, return on your investment, right? So John Templeton, he's became a billionaire because he invested in the most pessimistic time. Uh, you know, he bought the stock market or whatever uh, back in the depression or actually, like after World War II, or whatever. But anyway, he made a billion dollar from that. And he, and he said, the time of maximum pessimism is when you need to go all in in investing. So. Let me know, guys, what you guys think. Love you guys. Take care, okay?